Many of us have those stubborn pounds that seem impossible to lose, no matter how good we eat or how hard we work out. My solution is Plush Care. Plush Care is a leading telehealth provider with doctors who are there for you day and night to partner with you in your weight loss journey. They can prescribe FDA-approved weight loss medications like Wagovi and Zepbound for those who qualify. Plus, they accept most insurance plans. To get started, visit plushcare.com slash weight loss. That's plushcare.com slash weight loss. On today's Smart 7, Donald Trump guilty on 34 felony counts. Rishi faces questions over Partygate and much more. It's Friday, 31st of May. It's National Macaroon Day. And happy birthday, Brooke Shields. The Smart 7. It's news, but not the news. We're just over a week into what will be a six-week election campaign, and already it's been a struggle for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Thursday saw another defection as soon-to-be former MP. Tory Mark Logan defected to Labour, describing the Tory party as unrecognisable from the one he joined ten years ago. Rishi also had his now customary awkward moment as he was asked a question by a man whose mother had died during Covid and the PM brushed off his own party gate fixed penalty notice and pivoted to talking about his work as Chancellor. The topic of the day was supposed to be VAT. After all, three main parties ruled out a VAT rise after the election. At least Chancellor Jeremy Hunt was staying on message. Since Rishi Sunak and I have taken on the reins, we've taken very difficult decisions to put the public finances back on an even keel and we don't want that to change and we're worried that under a future Labour government it would change. Labour have committed to no tax rises on either income tax, VAT or National Insurance and Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury. Darren Jones says Labour has been clear from the beginning. Rachel Rees has been consistently clear that we have no plans to raise taxes on working people. We've said it a million times. I'm not sure what the Conservatives are trying to get at here. We have no plans to raise taxes on working people because the burden of tax on working people is the highest it has been in the last 70 years because of the Conservative Party. While Labour and the Tories continued to wrestle over VAT, Lib Dem leader, Sir Ed Davey was busy on a water slide, no really, and the Reform Party held a rambling press conference which included a rant about why there are so many barbershops, no really. Meanwhile, the Green Party formally launched their campaign with a plan to push Labour to be bolder on climate action. Co-leader Carla Denyer speaking in Bristol says their offering is unique. I'm sure you can already tell how excited we all are for this moment. Because at the Green Party, we've got something to offer that no other party has. Real hope and real change. Sir Keir Starmer was in Wales to launch Labour's Welsh campaign as the argument over Diane Abbott continued. Deputy Leader Angela Rayner told Sky News that she couldn't see any reason why the veteran MP couldn't stand for Labour. Taking advantage of the spotlight on Wales, Plaidy Cymru launched their campaign, acknowledging that new electoral boundaries meant that they face a challenge to win seats. But leader Renap Yorworth says they intend to represent the people of Wales. Remember, Wales' voice is being diluted, but we make this pledge. We will not allow Plaid Cymru's voice to be silenced. We will not allow Wales' voice to be silenced, and Plaid Cymru's voice will never, ever be diminished. The jury in Donald Trump's election interference trial reached a verdict on Thursday evening. They found the former president guilty on all 34 felony counts over hush money payments to adult star Stormy Daniels. The jury took a relatively short time to get to the verdict and they were unanimous in their decision on all counts. Judge Merchant has announced that sentencing will take place on July 11th and it's not clear yet whether or not Donald Trump faces the prospect of jail. Republican allies were quick to condemn the verdict and Donald, the first convicted felon to also be a presidential candidate, spoke to the press outside the court. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. And the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. NATO foreign ministers are due to meet in Prague on Friday to discuss how best to fund Ukraine's battle against Russia. In the meantime, Ukraine continues to strike at Russian targets, including a strike near the Kerch Bridge in Crimea early on Thursday morning that damaged several boats. US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken was on a short swing through Europe, visiting Moldova in advance of the NATO meeting. He brought news of a US aid package to help with energy security and to combat Russian disinformation. 
At a joint press conference with the Moldovan Prime Minister, he also flagged a shift in US policy on the use of American weapons on Russian targets in the Kharkiv region. We haven't encouraged or enabled strikes outside of Ukraine, but Ukraine, as I've said before, has to make its own decisions about the best way to effectively defend itself. We're going to make sure that it has the equipment it needs to do that. Still to come on today's Smart 7, London gets ready for the Champions League final and Matt Smith has a royal crush right after this. Many of us have those stubborn pounds that seem impossible to lose, no matter how good we eat or how hard we work out. My solution is Plush Care. Plush Care is a leading telehealth provider with doctors who are there for you day and night to partner with you in your weight loss journey. They can prescribe FDA-approved weight loss medications like Wagovi and Zepbound for those who qualify. Plus, they accept most insurance plans. To get started, visit plushcare.com slash weight loss. That's plushcare.com slash weight loss. Welcome back. Saturday sees the biggest event in the football calendar, the Champions League final, as Real Madrid face off against German side Borussia Dortmund. The fact that the final is in Wembley has raised the spectre of the ticketing and security shambles that happened at the Euro 2020 final, while the 2022 Paris final was also almost a disaster. So there's been a huge beefing up of security in advance of the event, with an extra £5 million invested and over 2,500 stewards on duty. London Mayor Sadiq Khan says the city is ready. The men's final what happened afterwards outside the stadium was not acceptable. The FA, the police and others have learned the lessons. The police are uh, on alert. It's going to be a cracking final on Saturday. I'm sure it will be uh, safe. I'm sure the lessons have been uh, learned. House of the Dragon is coming back to our screens on the 17th of June, and that means Matt Smith is getting ready to don his blonde wig and return as Daemon Targaryen. He's been chatting to Variety about the role and also about his career path from Doctor Who to playing Prince Philip in The Crown. They wanted to know which of those iconic roles he found most appealing, and the answer was somewhat of a surprise. Matt says that the young Prince Philip was actually quite a character. He's a total f- legend to be honest I loved him he was really progressive and people particularly in England thought he was this sort of social dinosaur really and actually he was really bright really clever The Bear is back for season three. It's due to land on Disney Plus on June 27th. The show stars Jeremy Allen White as Kami, the award-winning chef who ends up taking over his brother's Chicago sandwich shop. It's been an extraordinary success, sweeping the boards at the Emmys for season two, picking up awards for White and co-stars Ayo Edibiri and Ibon Moss Batrak. Season three will see the pressure ramp up on Kami as he chases a coveted Michelin star. What's this? So non-negotiables. That's how restaurants at the highest level operate. Push boundaries. Constantly evolve through creativity. Vibrant collaboration. That's demented. These are non-negotiables. I can sense the sarcasm. No, no, no. Not sarcasm. Snark. Contempt even. You've been listening to The Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Give us seven minutes we'll give you the world. One size fits all seemed like a good idea for clothes. Nice dress. Uh, it's a it's a T-shirt. Until you tried it on. Same goes for your health care. That's why United Healthcare offers a variety of flexible, budget-friendly coverage for medical, vision, dental, and more. So whether you're between jobs, coming off a parent's plan, or even missed open enrollment, you can find the plan that fits you best. Find out more about United Healthcare coverage at uh1.com. That's uh1.com.